What I've got for you tonight are four residential uh, lock sets. I had a request from someone on YouTube to uh, show how a quick set's taken apart. So I figured I'd show you how to do the quick set and then do a few other common residential locks. Um, we have first regular old quick set. There's the back of it. What we'll be using is the quick set cylinder removing tool. What you do between the post right here and the curved part of the uh, spindle, there's a little spring loaded tab. I hope you can see that. You can see it pushing in right there. Put the tool in, spin it so it pushes that tab in, then push it in a little more. Just like that. Then turn the spindle and pull it straight up and out. And there it is removed. There's what the spindle looks like. Common problem on these quick sets is the key will turn, just spin around and around and around. What happens is the little foot breaks off on either side. So if you ever have that problem, that's what it is. Um, most locksmiths will carry replacement spindles. Uh, just pop a new spindle in and it's fixed. So once you get the spindle out, take the curved end of the tool there, insert it, just like that. You have to push that tab piece in from the inside there. Okay. Once it's in, just kind of push down and rock it towards you and away from you, I guess back and forth just like that and that will pop the cylinder out that's all that's holding the cylinder in is those two little prongs right there and what the tool is doing when you put the tool in it's actually grabbing those feet and kind of pulling them together which allows it to pop out of the lock and there's the inside of the lock it actually the feet grab right behind this little piece of metal. You can see it comes in and curves down. There at the very back. Right back there is where the feet hook. And then to put it back together, just reverse the steps. Just take the cylinder, pop it in, lay the spindle in. It only goes in one way. It's kind of keyed right there. So I'll show you that. And then uh, just this tool will actually fit into the hole there and just push it in and turn it. And that's the quick set. Next we'll do, this is just a generic made in Taiwan. Um, I think it's like an, I think this one is an actual, is an easy set. But uh, this one has a poke hole on it. You see the poke hole right there. What you do is turn the knob until you see the retainer. It's not there. There's the retainer. I doubt if you're going to be able to see this, but right there it is. Take whatever you have that'll fit in there and uh, push that retainer down while pulling the knob out. And as you can see, the knob will pull right off the front. Um, Take the little ring off, ring comes off, and the cylinder slides right out the back. And there it is. When you're done rekeying or whatever it is you're doing to it, drop the cylinder back in, put the ring back on, and then it's keyed. See the Bible fits in there. It only goes back in one way, and just push it right back on the front, and you're done. Those are easy. Um, next one we've got is a wiser. There was a discussion on this one on key picking not too long ago. Um, the wiser is what you have to do. Is that spindle right there has to get pulled out. So what I do is I pull the spindle out as far as it will go, take a pair of vice grips, and hook onto it. 
and then use a key or pick it, whatever you need to do, and turn the cylinder to about 4 o'clock. This one already had picked because I didn't want the video running too long, but about 4 o'clock. Put your pick in and pull up. And if it won't come out, kind of, you know, turn it back and forth a little bit. It's approximately 4 o'clock. And there it popped out. Um, this cylinder, or the housing, everything in here, that's all plastic. But you can see the tailpiece here is kind of a double D shape. And that's what holds this cylinder into the lock. You can see inside there the double D shape at an angle right here. That's why you have to turn it to four o'clock. Uh, there's the spindle you're pulling out of the way. So turn it to four o'clock, pull it out. You're done, rekey it, put it back in. You see there's a little notch out of this one too for the Bible. So just stick this one back in. If you can okay then turn it back up to 12 o'clock to lock it into place take your vice grips off and you're done so that's the wiser next one we run into all the time is the Schlage Schlage has a poke hole with the retainer the retainers right there you're looking at it you don't have to turn the knob or the lever or anything um, all you have to do on these is use the key, pick it, whatever, 90 degrees either way, locked or unlocked. This one I've got picked already. Um, so you pick it either way, locked or unlocked position. Then that allows you to push the retainer down and pop the lever off. And then the cylinder just slides right out the back. And that shape is what keeps the retainer. You can see there's the retainer pushing in. When this cylinder is locked up, that tip right there is what's keeping the retainer from pushing in. It hits that. When you turn it, you've got more room over here, and that lets it push in. So um, put it back in. pop it back on and then just turn it back to lock it up and it's back on and as you can see now the retainer will not push down because it's in the locked position or the keys in the uh, non-pick position you have to turn it like I said to get it off so that's the four most common locks we run into um, and that's how you take them apart to get to the cylinder. So, thanks for watching.